Hello everybody, it's me, Sissy Brighter. In today's video, we're playing my so-called future girlfriend once more. It's been a while, so let's continue. Oh, okay. I've gotta try to remember where we left off. We've gave her our coat, and now we're, uh, in the city! Okay. Ramen? Seriously? Ramen for breakfast? Now that's quirky. Uh, I don't mind, but doesn't eating ramen for breakfast upset your stomach? Yurin pulled my hands while glancing around. I guess it's not that bad, but this was definitely not what I was expecting. It occurred to me that I just stepped into uh, stepped on a landmine. Well, whatever. Okay, it's this way. Yurin is dragging me. It's in the right direction, so I guess it doesn't matter. But, um... Uh, Yurin? I mumbled to myself, can you let go of my hand? Does she not realize that we're holding hands? Her hand felt smaller than it appeared, delicate, as if it wouldn't take much to crush it. And as I expected, her hands were practically frozen. Physically coming to, into contact with someone, especially when I don't expect it, gives me goosebumps all over my body, so I tried to let go, but she only held on stronger. It felt strange to touch another person's flesh. I felt goosebumps all over me for some reason and tried to let go, but she only held on stronger. I guess you can hold my hand, but can you stop rubbing my- Oh, what? Every time you massage my fingers, I feel so weird. You didn't seem to be having fun as she came closer to me. I guess it doesn't really matter. We kept walking with our hands clasped. Yurin patted her stomach as she slowly walked into the living room. Her stomach didn't seem that round as if she ate a lot, but actually she finished two jumbo-sized bowls of ramen for breakfast and drank all the and drank all the broth too. I felt a little sick watching her eat. I could see Yurin plopping down and sprawling herself over the couch. Her sweater was rolled up and her hidden lower belly was peeking out, whether she knew it or not. She seemed to get sleepy as she covered her mouth to yawn. So you're familiar with the joys of falling asleep to a food coma? Shut your eyes for a second. What's up with falling asleep while talking? I headed to my room to take out some blankets and covered it over her. Oh, that's thumbnail worthy. The couch was in front of a glass window, so there was plenty of sunlight, but the cold still seeped through. She won't sleep well f without a blanket. I covered the blanket over her, and I went back to regain dominance over my temporarily seized room. Maybe it won't work. Oh well, who cares. I took out a couple untouched books from the shelves, and crawled under the blankets. <laughs> Nothing can be grander in life than getting a book, a phone, and Wi-Fi ready and cozying up in bed. Is this equipment good? Give me your best lad. Yurin already used it once, so the sheets gave off a subtle aroma that slightly distracted me, but of course, it was nice. The smell's nice. Time flew as I became one with the sheets on my bed. I wondered if Yurin got up, so I went to the living room. Well, I wondered if it, blah, blah, blah. I wondered if Yurin got up, so I went to the living room with my book. She was sleeping. Well, she was still sleeping. She's a darn good sleeper. 
I wasn't hungry as we ate uh, a late breakfast. She probably feels the same as she ate more. I sat on another couch and read the rest of my book. Maybe an hour had passed when Urine finally started tossing and woke up. You're up? You slept really well. You were out for a while. She can mumble all she wants with half-opened eyes, but there's no way I'll understand. Hey, pull yourself together! What that drew off your mouth first? You forget that the primary function of language is to communicate. <laughs> she must have felt a bit stiff as she stopped mid-stretch. Slept funny? I don't think that should come from someone who drooled on the blanket. Maybe you should have changed into more comfortable clothes. Uh, why do I have to undress you? We're still, we're still green as grass here. The story better to <laughs> this. This story better be PG, otherwise I'm outie. Don't care, and don't make that seducing face. Nothing much. With those words, Yuren rubbed her eyes and headed towards the bathroom, perhaps to wash her face? In the meantime, I put my book back on the shelf inside my room. I came back out to find her on the couch with blank eyes. I brought her a cup of water on my way back and she drank the entire glass at once. I took the empty cup she handed me, and then silence. <sighs> Finally, the time of silence I love so much. The day somehow passed, but now there's nothing to do. Durin is also wiggling her toes. I want to enjoy the silence a little longer, but now's the chance if I want to find out a bit more about her. Durin. If it's okay, could I, could you tell me more about yourself? It could be about being from the future or being, I mean, my, my girlfriend, anything like that. <laughs> Already time for questions, and she talks as if this was all planned. She closed her eyes, nodded a couple times, and continued. Yes. I can't believe it. Of, I can't believe it, of course. Yeah, something like that. When I first met Yuren, she already knew my name and age. <laughs> Five years ago from now? So we met for the first time yesterday. Her eyes began spinning as if to show the confusion in her brain. I don't think she really knows herself considering how her story is all over the place. Still, I continued to listen. She made a sentimental smile as if recalling a fond memory. She showed me her left wrist, and on it was a black and white thread black bracelet. No. Then? 
She signaled for me to come closer as if she had to whisper something into my ear. She... Kidding me? What? Just tell me then. It's not as if you have to be secretive. There's no one else here. Oh, good goodness. How would I know that? She blushed at her own she blushed at her own words and grabbed a pillow to smother her red face in. So what? Ash came over the room. What did you say? A date? As far as I know, a date is a ritual where you seal the powers of the spirits that destroy this world. I wonder if that's really true. Why? I don't follow. She nodded as she declared her intentions. Um, that was an extremely abstract and future orientated answer. But I might as well be out and about with her to and observe or talk to her. It has to be more effective than not doing anything. Hmm, yes, I am oblivious, my character. And if I want to collect more information on her, nothing's more effective than being by her side. Yeah, okay. Let's say you're right. But I have one question. How do you go on a date? Dating is an exclusive term for well-functioning -function members of society. It's an intimidating word for a nerd like me whose only job is to house-sit his own home. There, There's nothing I can do! Just as you don't know the directions to a new place, you don't know how to do something you've never done. Pity. So, how is that different from a date? Uh, I'll try! I can do whatever by myself, but with a girl like you're in, I have zero confidence! Every second of it, I'll worry about bothering the other person for one reason or another. For example, what if she doesn't like the subconscious things I do and it annoys her? How do I know if I'm maintaining the appropriate amount of distance between her and me? I have to listen carefully to what she is saying and worrying about whether or not my existence itself bothers her! Uh, just thinking about it makes me feel so busy. She must have read my anxious, anxious thoughts as she gave me a smile. Really? That's gotta be the best thing I've heard in a while! Of course, the whole feature part negates any confidence it might have given me. Useless. But why are we going to the streets nearby? Aren't there other places with more interesting things to do? Before she could even finish, Yurin's stomach echoed a growl that wasn't as cute as she wished it could be. I didn't see why she had to be embarrassed, but she held on to her stomach and blushed.
Is that so? Erin was losing her HP fast from hunger. We go ready and hit it out. Someone would think that we're entering a devil's lair and going on a date. Yiren was unusually fiery as if going out on a battle. We headed outside for our work, for our date. At all! We suddenly stared at something in front of a street food vendor. I looked at what she was staring at and saw sugar filled pancakes. You want sugar filled pancakes? She flinched in surprise. Is she embarrassed that I caught her staring at them? Huh? I don't dislike them in particular. <laughs> Who cares how you eat sugar filled pancakes? Uh, yeah, no. Are sugar-filled pancakes that important? She must have... She must have some bad memories with sugar-filled pancakes. I don't dislike someone just because of how they eat sugar-filled pancakes. No, no. Why in the world is she obsessing over sugar-filled pancakes? You want sugar filled pancakes? And now she doesn't even want one. I seriously have to no idea what goes on inside of her brain. Are you thinking that's why he rejected you? I'm pretty sure she has some bad memories. Uh, okay. Sugar filled pancakes or fish shaped buns. They both have dark fillings inside of them. Aren't they basically the same? In the end, Urine left the sugar filled pancakes to find a fish shaped bun place. It was cold and I was hungry, so as soon as I got a hold of a steaming fish shaped bun, I, it, it was cold. Oh, okay. I tried to take a bite out of it, but Urine stopped me. What? Oh wow, I would have eaten the face first. So if I eat this the wrong way, I become a psychopath? Got it. Did I? She's talking about the future boyfriend again. I don't know how, I don't know who he is, but he must really like fish shaped buns. Which part? The head. I stared at the fish shaped bun for a while before taking a bite out of the tail first. What? <laughs> this is not immersive enough! I would have eaten the head! No! Why didn't we get the option to do that? What about the tail? Is there some problem with it? Is this some game company that likes animal tails? If not, then whatever. Tell me about the others. Who in the world told you that nonsense while eating fish shaped buns? Did you just make that up? I don't know how I'll be in the future, but I have zero interest in that right now. 
It's basically like your zodiac sign or blood type. The, the tail? Mm -hmm. Then you can get a job at some game company that likes animal tails. Perfect! She'd actually be great as the main heroine or something. What is this? <laughs> How does that leak? How does that lead to that? <laughs> Guess she wants to emphasize the fact that we're boyfriend and girlfriend. Alright. Jump. Jump. Jump! <laughs> Starting from fish shaped buns. Yuri made us roam around to eat a bunch of snacks. She won't take a break from eating. Wait, what was that? Extra, what? Tips. Why would I need tips? Ooh, wait, what? Does this mean I haven't played the game yet? Is this like a long ass introduction? That would be terrifying. Is is it good? Yuri gave me a big thumbs up with the left hand while munching on a crepe. Crepe. I watched her notice whipped cream on her thumb and quickly lick it. You're not full. That I know. She's been eating a ton from the morning. <laughs> you don't know, like girls who just walk with one foot? You know, uh, just asking for some reason, you know. You, you like girls who magically have like a crown thing jumping out from their face? You don't? Okay. I'll get it out of you and <laughs> I'll get it out of you eventually. That's her mindset, I think she's- I think that's her mindset. Asking anything that could annoy him. But... I don't think guys... I'd- okay, I don't think guys worry about this type of- well, well, actually... Maybe guys do! Depending on their intentions with the female, but... I think if they want to really test this woman and see if she is the right one for him. And you know what? Vice versa. Woman too. I think that is a universal truth to that. That people really do notice the small things. And that could lead up to a big trigger. And then eventually they break up or get a divorce or want to stop being roommates or something like that. How do you remain so skinny if you eat that much? You know if you're crying? Oh my goodness. What in the world is she talking about now? Why is he so moody? Is he pregnant? <laughs> I don't really care. There's no way I dislike someone for something like that. But how is it that you don't gain like, any weight at all? I look at her son, the figure. I don't know when she started eating this eating habit, but I'm just amazed she hasn't managed to maintain her figure. All the girls are like smashing their windows in, even the guys too. I am as well. <laughs> well, um, <clears throat> is, 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 is that good? Thanks to that, she's not gaining any weight on parts that. Whoa, my guy. Whoa. 
Ooh, what? That's kind of that's kind of low. Come on, main character. Come on. Come on. Come on. Well, okay. Well, also to be fair, women. If if that's your preference, women would also be kind of like. Well, in a way, it's it's the same as women complaining about a dude's, you know, got on along size, you know. So. If women can com complain about that, then men can complain about breast size, I guess. But if women aren't allowed to complain about dick size, then I think men aren't as well. So, vice versa once again. Okay, let's continue. For example, her chest, or chest, and uh, also her chest. <laughs> eh? Oh, n nothing. I would never be. Well, oh wait, no, actually, it is easy to see if someone is looking at you. Okay, I'll stop commentating. I'll just read the bloody damn thing. Oh, she picked up on that really fast. She picked up on that really fast. Oh, poor woman. Oh, no. She was a weirdo, but how are all of her conversations ending the same way? No matter what I do, she keeps asking me if that's what I don't like her. I've never really liked her. Th wow. Uh oh. Oh. Okay. Maybe it's because. She oh wow. Afterwards, we continue to wander around the streets. The moon hid behind the clouds, but the street lamp shined on the night streets. We passed a long row of accessory shops, and Yurin looked at fancy rings and necklaces. I don't remember all of her sentiments, as she marveled at this and marveled at that. Aesthetics? What's that? Something edible? To be honest, it was mostly just Yurin getting excited and looking around, as if I was just trying to protect my eyes from the blinding light. The silver ornaments reflected. When Yurin later said that she doesn't really need these things, when I proposed later, I honestly got a little annoyed. Okay, it's almost been in half an hour already. Thank you for watching! In the next video, I am continuing this game. Like, right after. And then the one after that, uh, like I'm making a series. I want to freaking finish this game. It's been haunting me that it happened. But anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.